Hello everyone, we are back to do another full self-driving test. 12.4.1, we are going to do the same exact Carl Sandburg route, but this time, no trailer. The ball hitch is still on, that statistically has never affected anything, so I don't think it's, I don't expect it to affect anything today. But, we are going to see how it does on the same exact route, but without a trailer. Just to get some A-B testing to see, well, does, did the trailer cause some of the issues I was seeing? Very possible. It was speculated. I appreciate the guys that, um, you guys that put comments down below and kind of, like, critique the video. That's really helpful. I really encourage that to really critique what I do and put it down in the comments because that's really helpful for me to know how I can do better. And this thing, there are things I just do not see in the video. And so that's very helpful for me off my windshield a little bit make sure that's not gonna be an issue we actually have some rain coming I don't know if it's gonna make it here before we get there or not but we'll see um, what is it so okay let's see if it's gonna do the same slow down here getting onto the highway it was a little bit more timid yesterday with the trailer yeah see it's a little bit slower to get on here which isn't a bad thing it's probably better for most people. I think that's necessarily probably a good thing. Now getting onto the highway is what I'm curious on. Got a truck here flashing. I'm not sure what the point of that is for. See the car just, I can't wait until we're at 12.5 because I think that will finally fix this problem where the car doesn't turn the blinker on and merge onto the highway. I think 12.5 will fix that. And once we're on, once the highway stack, you guys keep on commenting this, yes, I know the highway stack is still on version 11. So right now we're technically on version 11. However, it still has some version 12 functionality uh, where it uh, kind of adjusts the speed. It's not auto speed, but it still you know, increased it to 72 mile an hour Automatically, even though I have it set as a baseline 65 um, with zero offset. Another thing I wanted to mention is the trailer uh, very well could have caused, and speculated, it could have been causing my car to creep forward unnecessarily and it could unnecessarily accelerate because it thinks there's a car close behind me. It's like, okay, I need to get out of the way of the car behind me, but in reality, it wasn't a car behind me, it was uh, the trailer behind me. So we're gonna see how it does on this route here. Obviously, same thing, no hands. This is great. This speed limit sign right here, it needs to, it needs to know learn how to read it. It's not gonna read it. See, look right now. Boom, nothing. So what I'm gonna do to try and assist is put it into chill mode. It was in average mode. So it'll actually slow down behind this truck up here. And then I'm basically gonna go slow, uh, as fast as the slowest car in front of me, which would make me feel a lot more comfortable about this. And as you can see, it's starting to rain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was a, it braked hard right there for no apparent reason. Which is why I always keep my feet next to the pedals. That was one of the strongest brakes I've had in a long time. So yeah, this version definitely is not ready for wide release. Um, that has not happened in a while. I might actually, might actually email the team that that was, um, that could have caused a rear end if someone was actually behind me. I don't know why it breaks so hard like that. Oh, Jesus, car? His SUV, I might. Like, I'm being over cautious, so that that's not a disengagement in the car. My car's fault. That was that white SUV kept on like getting really close to me, and it basically yeah it scared me. <laughs> okay, so um, also we're gonna see. You know, does the rain cause the vision? Like, does it still allow vision? Uh, can I? Do I have to hold the steering wheel when when it's raining? I don't know if anyone said that. It doesn't appear to be the case. I'm not counting that disengagement, um, like I said. 
because the, while the car was like a foot away, it's like he kept on swerving back and forth because they, people just don't know how to drive around curves in the mountains. And they, they just kind of swerve around the curve instead of staying in the curve. Yeah, so we're not counting that one. So, so far, no interventions and no disengagements for this, for this route. I'm gonna get passed by a semi truck. <laughs> okay, well, that's what it is. So obviously, guys. It's raining pretty, um, fairly hard right now. Not, no, not crazy hard, but um, the vision monitoring is still working. So this is very clear that the vision monitoring still works while, uh, while it's raining. Even though it says full self driving degraded, obviously it still changes lanes to get off the highway. We're about to get off the highway here in a sec. This is this is doing fantastic. I think version 12.5 will fix this once the highway stack is on version 12, but it's still not decelerating enough for my liking going off these steep hills. This is better than it has been, but like that's the thing, it's staying 45, it should slow down more. Like it slows down enough not to need to jam on the brakes at the last second, but it needs to do a more linear the entire way slow down. So that was a good slowdown, and yeah, this is way too fast to celebrate. Same thing, it did the same thing with the trailer. So this shows, at least for this spot, it was not the trailer causing it to accelerate like that. And see what it just did? It did this weird swerve like that. It's, it's doing the same thing. Laying in decisiveness. This is something to do with... Um, same thing, uh, AI driver. He made a video showing something like this. It was at night. Um, and James Dalmut uh, commented something about the planner and the pat and the neural net's not matching up or something. So apparently it might have been a bug, which could be fixed in a point release. So and without having to retrain anything, basically. So I'm hoping that is the case. So same thing that slowed down for these railroad tracks, but that to me was perfect perfect speed to go over those railroad tracks. It doesn't need to go any any slower. Those railroad tracks are relatively smooth compared to the others. Now what I can do is it should be going a little bit faster speed here. Oh yeah, I can turn it back up to the average profile of that. I don't think it matters. So what I've noticed is it does not seem to matter if I'm in average or chill for speed yet. I'm hoping they are adjusting that to effects like uh, if I was in chill mode, you would have thought it would not have over overly accelerated uh, at that uh, intersection back at the stop sign, but it did. So it seems to be that average and chill and assertive do not make a difference still in terms of acceleration profile, in terms of how quick, how much it speeds. Now maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there's still some more a lot more testing to do, but that seems to be the case. And it could be there's a car behind me right now. It could be that maybe that car being detected is making my car a little bit go a little bit faster. I don't know. Got a cyclist. Okay, this is a semi hard challenge on this road because blind turn. Okay, we can go around cyclists. Probably could have given a little bit more room, I think. Yeah, you know, that that car went all the way over. Uh, it's better to be safe in case something that happens. So look back at the previous video um, that I did yesterday, towing the trailer, and look at the speed on this road. Now maybe it's going to be a problem with a cyclist in our way. But I'm pretty sure we're going faster right now than I was on the other video at this point. Now, I really hope it doesn't try and pass the cyclist around this corner, because that would be not safe. I cannot see around that corner to pass it. So that, for that reason, 
we would have headed on that car if we had passed the same thing here not a safe spot to pass until about now because now I can see yeah, see now the car can see oh and now it recognizes that there's another blind turn so that's good it should not pass right now in my opinion I wonder if I, I wonder if it's gonna like keep doing this I don't know I'm just gonna let it do its thing we're almost to our destination. There's two cars behind me. This cyclist probably was like, "Why you're not passing?" But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do its thing. <laughs> this honestly probably stresses me out a little bit because, yep. See, okay, there's a car right there. That, that was a good move not to pass in that corner. It could pass right here, but you know, just in case. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> Let's just play it safe. You know, there's a blind turn. This car is coming around. It's Sunday. People go into church. Let's just play it safe. I, I think that's what the car is going to do. It's going to play it safe. If you guys put it in the comments, do you think I should have just told it to pass? Or, like, if you want me just to just let it do its own thing. Oh, is it really going to try and pass now? Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it gets the no turn on red. So last time, you guys said it was green and red at the same time. No, it was definitely only red. As you can see, the lighting is different today. See, look, look what it's doing. Look what it's doing. It's trying to, just trying to go. Okay. It stopped. Look at there. It makes me wonder if it was trying to pull up to the light more, which is not natural behavior for a human. Uh, so maybe that's what was what I was doing yesterday, and, it, and I just engaged because of it. I would have to say this is probably the best it's ever done, this route. Uh, we have two more turns left before we can say that. That was close to that curb. That that was really close to that curb. Okie dokie do. We have one more turn left. Yes, and it continues to get into that turn well. So everyone, I can confidently say that was the best it's ever been on this one. I'm glad, glad that I can finally say that now. Uh, let's go down here. It's a little bit busy because we're a little bit later today than our normal time. Oh yeah, tell me what you guys think. I think that was great. Like, hands free the whole whole way. No interventions, no disengagements. That was, like, literally, <laughs> that was great. Um, the So yeah, again, the disengagement for that car was 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 not necessary. That was because human pilot was a little bit scared. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was much improved and I am super glad I did this today. So yeah, we're gonna go on a hike. We're gonna go do the Hinchmill test again. It's not gonna match up exactly, but it'll be close. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.